Okay, got a bunch of fabric samples in. That one looks green to me. I'm already not liking it. But these um, are all performance fabrics. I'm trying to hold the camera while holding it right here. You wanna go see what Doug is barking at? You wanna go see what he's barking at? Go get him. They're all performance fabrics, but these are the ones that our sofa, some of the ones that I liked that our sofa had. Yeah, that's definitely like a green color. Um, and then these three just have to be cleaned differently than these three. Like these three recommend professional cleaning, but don't 100% need it. Um, none of them do, but these three don't. Not sure how I feel about that for a sofa though. I don't know, we'll have to see. And then we'll obviously have to coordinate them with the chairs. Look at how insanely good. Y'all, I cannot believe it. I don't wanna go all the way around the front because there's workers here, but. Who knew one could care about concrete so much? <laughs> it looks so good. All right, so let's go in. We're gonna. Okay, so let's find a place in the floor, but I wanna find a place in here, just because this is obviously where, I mean, this is the lighting. Yeah. The lighting in this house. Um, all right, so there were a couple, I'll put them right here. There were a couple that I felt looked green. I already have a no for sure. This is a death no. This is like legit green. I'll take that one off first. And then I don't like this one. I feel like that one's too dark. I have my two favorites. Which one are your two favorites? I don't like the green. These two? Yeah. So I like these two. I don't like this one because it's too light. Almost. Oh, yeah, that was not bad. Yeah, I like that one. I'll have to look at them with the chairs. I think these three are definitely like really good. This one just looks a little yellow at me. You can't hear my mom's loud broken vacuum, but. These are the top three, and I literally like them all. These are the chairs we got. They are amazing. I mean, they are like stiff, but not tough. The perfect size. Oh. Love it. Come here, turn to man. Come here. Hey. Come up the stairs. Come here. Can I see mama? Ezra. Ezra, keep going. Come here. Keep coming, you chunky little boy. Come on. Come here, you handsome little baby. Oh my goodness, yay! Good job, Ezra. Good job, baby. All right, now let's stand up, no crawling. We grown. Okay, well, I was gonna say, we grown around here. Come on, let's go look at the chairs. A hot mess. I feel like my rosacea is so chill and like it's not dry i don't have breakouts and then i put skincare on and it just like gets so much brighter i'm very red um so my pregnancy brain starting to make these vlogs hard starting to make general conversation hard starting to make filming hard there have been multiple times tonight i have literally looked at sam and i'm like you know what i'm trying to say and there was one time he was like N no I don't. And I've always kind of had this like funny joke with my family where it's called like speaking Mariah, where I will either say something so fast it doesn't make sense or I'll just say something like out of order because I just talk so fast and like I just joke that like it comes from here to here very fast that like sometimes it's just, just how I've always been. Um, And it just, it, it's part of me. And like when you add pregnancy into that, it is bad. And I remember there was literally a time we were with our group of friends when I was pregnant with Ezra and it was towards the end. I was like 34, 35 weeks. And I like never believed that pregnancy brain was like necessarily a thing. I mean, I knew that like there had to be some truth to it, but I didn't understand it. And I literally was trying to explain to them where someone's house was. And one of my guy friends looked at me and he goes, do you need a minute? And I was like, no, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try that one again. And like, I got lost going to my accountant's office slash year the accountant that i've lit it's my dad's accountant i've been writing by his office building for over a decade so yeah i just like when i was going to take my taxes to him i showed up late 
and I like walked in and I was like massively pregnant. And I was like, yeah, I, I got lost. And he was like, you got lost? And I was like, just didn't know where I was. So anyway, that's been a fun change. Uh, the whole reason I actually picked up this camera, I just read a comment and this is actually not the first one I've gotten, whether it be here, main channel or on Instagram. So Ezra's middle name is Miles. <laughs> and so many of y'all think that that's actually this baby's name. Um, we call him Mr. Miles all the time. I don't think I've ever just outright referred to him as Miles, um, but Mr. Miles is, is kind of, I don't know how or why, but you know, your child just like, like I call him Chunky, he's not Chunky. He's literally like slender, um, but you know how your child just like gets names or whatever. So he, he has this middle name is Miles and somehow we just adapted Mr. Miles as a nickname. So it's funny that I think there have been like three incidences here on the vlog. I get a ton on Instagram. I remember I'm doing, okay. All right, well I was talking on the vlog channel. Do you think I want the internet to see you like that? <laughs> I'm telling them, so um, I've been getting a lot more people lately that think that this baby's name is Miles because I'll just kind of like say it in passing or something. Like even when Ezra isn't around, I'll say like Miles or Mr. Miles or something. So I just wanted to just clear that up because I get it. It's I get it everywhere here and stuff. So his middle name, his full name is Ezra Miles and we actually made a video about it. I wasn't crazy about his middle name at first. Sam really liked it. Um, Sam picked that baby's entire name, Ezra's entire name. So I picked this baby's entire name. So, um, and it kind of wasn't planned like that, kind of was, but Sam really likes Miles. I wasn't crazy about it, but now it's really grown on me and I call him Mr. Miles. How many times can I repeat that? I just have like, my brain is so bad. <laughs> anyway, um, we're about to get ready for bed. It is 9.15. Oh wait, I need to make sure. I'm 300 steps away from 10K, so I need to get up and walk around for a bit. But um, I woke up this morning at 5.30, trying to train myself to be a morning person. Alrighty. Oh, my ear is blasting. Look how cute my new phone case is. I had to go back to a loopy because I have a tripod right beside y'all. And any time I was having to do something with a tripod, it wasn't fitting my other phone case. So we are going to my third trimester appointment today. I can't believe it. I can't believe we're in the last trimester and I'm still not moved into our house yet. <laughs> because of the way that things are moving, I think we're actually gonna end up moving the last week of June or like the first weekend of July, regardless, because our builder goes on vacation in two, two weeks, a week, I think it's like a week, two weeks from Saturday. Um, our plumber, is currently on vacation, I believe, or he is, like just got back from vacation. Um, so he's like just now doing his part. Um, it's fine. We're not gonna we're not gonna sweat about it. But I am going today with really high hopes that they'll either do a handheld ultrasound or they'll kind of feel around. I think the baby went head down. Um, I don't know though. So I don't know if I mentioned this at my anatomy scan. He was breech. And the nurse practitioner, like, and everyone's just like, oh, it's fine, it's totally fine, don't freak out about it. And I'm like, please stop telling pregnant women to not freak out. That's like looking at the sky and being like, don't be blue, just don't be blue. Like, when is ever telling someone don't worry about it ever worked? So here's my fear behind the breach thing. If I end up having a C-section, I'll have a C-section. Do I want one? No, but my ultimate goal with my son is getting him here safely whatever that may be. And it's gonna be fine no matter what. At the end of the day, I'm gonna have my baby. But I loved my experience with Ezra. Oh, I was driving through a bunch of trees, so it got real crazy there. Um, I had such a beautiful birth experience, even with like all the like, his heart rate just being like a total mess. I mean, really, it was like just the easiest thing to push him out. Like women in my family just, we have easy labors. Um, it was just the best. So I would love that again. I know what healing is like, but Ezra was transverse until he was 34 weeks. And I remember that flip, it stopped me dead in my tracks. And like, I mean, to be honest, kind of rocked me a little bit. Like I started screaming and I really thought something was wrong. And it happened the day before one of my OB appointments. And so I ended up going in the next day and I was like, hey, so I had an ultrasound last week. It was like last Thursday. I had an ultrasound, they said he was transverse. I did the Webster method, we did all this stuff, and then I had a really, really painful 
like something in my belly and that stopped me and I don't know if he's head down or what and so she went and grabbed a handheld and I remember I was like 34 I think it was 34 weeks she grabbed a handheld and he was head down so he did make the flip but that's why I'm kind of worried about it because breach is like it's a whole different ball game than transverse and it was just the most painful thing honestly apart from labor like one of the most painful things i experienced while pregnant um like it was worse than lightning crotch times a hundred like it was so bad no it was quick but it was it was very very painful and i thought something happened so um that's kind of why i'm just worried about it because i'm afraid about the pain but i mean also i just i don't want a c-section they told me that at 28 weeks obviously still so much can happen they do start kind of check in a little bit more to see if he's still breach but they don't sweat about it until he is 36 weeks and I like almost fell off the chair when she told me that she was like I know 36 seems very late but like by that point that's when we start talking other things and she was like but we're not just gonna be like nope a c-section is our only option we're gonna we're gonna give you some other options you know to do these other things first um so I've been doing spinning babies and all that stuff and the other day I had a really sharp pain that kind of like stopped me it wasn't near as painful as it was when Ezra went head down so I was like hopefully that's it but we're gonna go or I'm gonna go it's just me um, I'm gonna go and see if he's head down hopefully they'll let me check hopefully they'll check or something um, just even if they like can you know feel around Yellow. Guess who has a head down baby? Oh, that's awesome. Yes! I'm so, so, so relieved. It was Dr. Ray. She went and got the handheld. And she, like, let me look at him for a few minutes and, like, got to see everything. His umbilical cord is by his feet. So, hopefully, it stays there. And it, I mean, obviously, it, like, floats around and stuff. But, like, it was nice to know it wasn't near his neck. That's awesome. Oh. Uh, you gonna tell her, hey, that's mama. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, the booty. Booty's laying up to her. And his head was back, so we couldn't even see features. Oh my God, I'm so, Sam, I feel like a weight has been, I mean, I knew that we had time, but like to not have to feel that painful. Oh, all right, love. Well, I'm gonna come home. Okay. We'll see you shortly. All right. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. All right. I forgot to put texture spray in my hair all day, so it's been bothering me how flat it is, and I just realized why. But we're going to go get our Diet Coke. I deserve it after that. It's like a reward. <laughs> I always eat, like, crap after my OB appointment. Usually I get Chick-fil-A or something, but um, it's 4 o'clock, so I didn't want to get, like, a full meal. I'm gonna try one of these true lemon packets and see if it's as good as everyone says. I'll link them below. I think you can get them at some stores. I have literally never seen those in, in stores, but I've also never looked for them in stores. So that could be why. Let's try this out. Let's see if it actually tastes lemony. Is that a word? Oh, that is delicious. Oh my gosh. It's insanely good. It's like the perfect amount of lemon. Oh my God. That's what the other day I was at a restaurant and I asked for some and it wasn't enough. And then these like, I always eat like garbage. So it's okay. I'm gonna go home. I'm in such a good mood. Chuck fell in the dirt. <laughs> it's okay. I'll show y'all though. Come on. I wanted to show y'all. Look at what a hot mess. I don't know if I don't have a mirror here. Like, I look like a hot mess, but it is mine and that one's five year wedding anniversary, so I'm not getting ready till later because we're going on a date. So, all right, here, baby. Um, let's see, I'll show y'all out here. Ezra, of course, wants to beeline for the door. You can't go out there, baby. Black roof looks so good this was a sam robinson idea that gets screened in next week but look okay so here you can't go outside baby our sink faucet is in disposal's in obviously no water half bath is in he's <laughs> the toddler hold him 
So half bath is in and looks great. Gotta find a mirror for that today. And then, here, here. And then Ezra and the baby have their sink faucets. So we did the same in um, every single bathroom. So I think these are from like Wayfair or something. Very, very simple. Hot, you can see. You good? You can see a little bit of red right there. I mean, obviously like hot's on the left, cold's on the right, but you can see they have little marks. Love, love, love. And then these are the shower heads we went with. Let's see if I can show it to you. It's like a, it's not a rain shower head, but it's not not a rain shower head. So it'll go there, and this is Ezra's shower. He is currently, hey, let's not pull that paint up. We're gonna head home, because it is almost nap time. And then him going to Gigi and Granddaddy's tonight, so mommy and daddy can have date night. It looks good. Can't believe it. We're like three weeks out at this point. We don't have a closing date just yet because there's like a couple things timeline wise we have to nail down. But we are officially like less than a month from just being home. I'm so Okay, so this is kind of what we got going on. Really no, there's kind of a method to the madness, like as far as grouping goes, but like this stuff, I'm not gonna organize till we get in the new house. This, I'm not gonna organize till we get in the new house. This is all of Ezra's like old towels and bath stuff. Um, That's gonna be for the new baby. They're going to his bathroom. So I just kind of worked on these two shelves today and got everything kind of organized. So that feels good. Okay. Good morning from the Hum S Express. It is Memorial Day. Anyway, I hope y'all have a very happy Memorial Day and I hope that if you have someone that you are remembering today that died in the line of service, um, that we are at the Robinson household very thankful for their sacrifice that they made to this country. Um, we have military on either side of our family. We have military um, uh, in within our friend group and we are just, we're very grateful for um, our service members and especially those who um, died fighting for us. So happy Memorial Day, you guys. I hope y'all have a great week and we will see you next time.